friends once again and we are now in the final uh, module that is assessment part 4 and this will be the last part as far as uh, grading is concerned so the objective of this session is to understand one more example on a different grading system so one grading system we had uh, understood in part 3 and now one more grading system we will try to understand in this particular part. So uh, the university uh, has gone in for creating the grades and they call it as 10 point grade but uh, it doesn't involve all the 10 points. So basically what they have done is they have gone in for putting 0 at D, 5 at C, 6 at B, 7 at B plus, 8 at A, 9 at A plus and 10 at O. Right, so they are given the different intervals from 80 to 100, 70 to 80, 60 to 70, 55 to 60 and so on. Now you need to understand that when we talk of 40, 40 is included on in the lower uh, side. So 50 will not be included here, 50 will be included on the lower uh, side of, of this interval from 50 to 55. So that's how we have to go in for reading this particular table. Now how it has been calculated, uh, I will let you know how this has been calculated. I am talking of this table. So these values have been derived using this particular table. Now how it is done? It says Suppose that max is the maximum marks assigned for an examination or evaluation based on which the grade point will be computed. In our case it is 100. So 100 is the maximum marks for the subject which we have kept. Therefore uh, in order to determine the grade point set x is equal to max by 10. Now what is max? Max we are taking at as 100 because that's the maximum marks uh, for any subject given by the university. So max is 100, so x value comes out to be 100 by 10, that makes it 10, right? So this makes it 100 by 10, which is 10. And uh, now let's go in for understanding how the points have been derived. So x is 10, so that means if I put x equal to 10 here, it becomes 80. And if I put x equal to 10 here, it becomes 10 into 10, 100. So between 80 to 100, the grade points are 10. If I put x equal to 10 here, it becomes 55 and if I put x equal to 10, it becomes 80. So between 55 to 80, uh, you will get the grade point as, now it says truncate m by x, m is the mark scored. So say for example, I talk of a student who has scored 60 marks. So what I do is 60 upon x which is 10, so it becomes 6 plus 2, 8, right? So if the student has scored 60 marks, he will get 8 as the grade point. Now let us talk of uh, the next interval. So this says 4x, x is 10, so it becomes 40 to 55. Say for example, the student has scored 50. So I put m as 50, 50 by 10 is 5 plus 1, 6. So grade point becomes 6. Okay. So now let's come back here. Uh, Let's uh, assume that the student has scored 90 marks, right? So 90 marks means uh, it is lying here, right? So he gets 10 points straight away. So 90 marks will get a grade point of 10 and the associated grade is O. Let's assume that the student goes in for scoring 70 marks, right? So 70 will fall in this interval and let's see what happens here. Now 70 will fall in the second category from 55 to 80. So marks is 70. Now we are going for putting m as 70. 70 upon x is 10. So 7 plus 2 is 9. So just see here. 70 gives us 9 grade point and the associated grade is A+. plus. Now let's say for example uh, take 60. If the student has gone in for scoring 60. If you have scored 65, you can even put 65 and you, you will be able to get the meaning of truncation by that. So I am taking 60 for the sake of simplicity of making you understand uh, through this medium. 
So if you put 60, 60 will fall again in this category. So marks is 60. You go in for putting 60 by 10, which is 6 plus 2, 8. So just see, for 6 we are getting a grade point of 8. Right? So uh, if you say 65, let's see. 65, marks is 65. So 65 by 10, it becomes 6.5. 6.5 plus 2, it becomes 8.5. So it says it says truncate so 8.5 will be truncated to 8 right so again you are going to get 8 as the grade point so there is no rounding off and therefore he says truncate so any decimal value has to be truncated it has to be removed and that's how you are able to see that by using this particular table formula to calculate grade point you are able to derive this particular table of 10 point grades Let's move ahead. Now, this particular section talks about uh, SGP and CGP in the same manner as we have discussed before. So, two kinds of performance indicators, namely the semester grade point average, SGPA, and the cumulative grade point average shall be computed at the end of each term. The SGPA measures the cumulative performance of a learner in all courses in a particular semester. So, it is restricted only to a semester. While CGPA measures the cumulative performance, uh, mind this word cumulative, uh, measures the cumulative performance in all the courses since his her enrollment. So if he is in the second semester, so uh, he has almost completed one year. If he is in the third semester, he has completed one and a half years. So all three semesters have to be taken. And uh, if he is in the final semester, that is sixth semester of a uh, graduation of three years, so then the CGPA at the end of the final semester will give the final result of that particular learner. This is what uh, this particular line says. The CGPA of learner when he she completes the program and the final uh, result uh, is the final result of the learner. Okay. So the CGPA of the final semester is the result of that particular learner. And these are the formulas which has been given. SGPA is sum of the product of credit of a subject into grade point of that subject divided by the sum total of the credits of all the subjects. Similarly, for CGP it is sum of the credits of the subjects into grade point of the subjects upon sum of the credits of all the subjects studied till the point when this particular CGPA is being calculated and then there is a rule which they have said that CGPA shall be calculated up to two decimal places accuracy. So that means the third decimal will be rounded off uh, to the second decimal place. That's how the CGPA will go ahead. Uh, just a point of precaution, this is not GPA, this is only grade point. This is also not GPA, it's only grade point. <coughs> because we are not uh, using the average here. Now, the university also gives the formula to compute equivalent percentage marks for a specified CGPA. So, if you know the CGPA of a student by using the formula which has been given in this table, you will be able to calculate the percentage of that particular student. Say, for example, a student has gone in for scoring a CGP of 8. Now, 8 falls in this particular interval, right? So, if 8 is less than or equal to CGPA is less than or equal to 9. So we take 8 on the lower limit, not on the higher limit. So 8 falls here. You go in for putting the value of CGP as 8. So it becomes 10 into 8, 80. 80 minus 20. So the student has gone in for scoring 60%. If his CGP is 8 out of 10, his score is 60%. Uh, similarly, if he goes in for scoring a CGP of 9, now you go in for putting 9 here. 20 into 9, 180, 180 minus 110. So it becomes 70%. So 9 CGPA means he is at 70%. Right? If you put 9.5, 9.5 into 40, this gives us uh, 380. 380 minus 300, it gives us uh, 80%. Right? And if you put 10, it becomes 400 minus 300. So at 10, it is 100%. This is how this is getting calculated. So, this is the formula which the university gives to convert the CGPA uh, of the student uh, into percentage. Because uh, while taking admission into foreign universities, sometimes 
परसेंटेज में भी आस्ट राइट नाउ दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द ग्रेड विच दे हैव गिवन सो इफ यू हैव गॉट ओ ग्रेड इट मीन आउटस्टैंडिंग इफ यू गॉट ए प्लस इट इज एक्सीलेंट इफ यू गॉट ए इट इज वेरी गुड सो क्वालिटेटिवली वॉट डज ईच ग्रेड सिग्निफाई दे हैव टोल्ड यू सो इफ योर सी जी पी ए फॉल्स बिलो फाइव यू आर फेल इट लेट्स नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस होल थिंग विच वी हैव गॉन इन फॉर रीडिंग इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स by means of an example because this is what you have to do so this is grading illustration for the subject of economics and we are talking of uh, the marks scored by say 10 students i'm taking 10 for the sake of simplicity of uh, dealing with the calculations here so roll number 1 to 10 has been taken their internal assessment out of 40 has been taken right their percentages have been calculated and using this particular table we have gone in for putting up their grade point and the grade associated with that particular grade point so what we have done is 25 out of 40 makes it 62.5% now see this 62.5% falls here between 60 to 70 in the table which i had shown you in the slide so between 60 to 70 the grade point is 8 so we have gone in for associating grade point of 8 For grade point of eight, the grade given in the table is A. So therefore, we have gone in for putting A here. Uh, please note the cursor which I am moving from one place to another, so that uh, you will be able to understand what I am trying to show. I repeat with another student. So twenty marks out of forty is fifty percent, and fifty percent falls between. दिस इंटर दिस इंटरवल फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी फाइव सो फिफ्टी फॉल्स हेयर तो ग्रेट पॉइंट इज सिक्स सो वी हैव रिटर्न ग्रेट पॉइंट ऑफ सिक्स द ग्रेड इज बी एंड हेयर ऑल्सो यू विल फाइंड दैट द ग्रेड इज बी ओके सो दैट्स हाउ वी हैव गॉन इन फॉर एलोकेटिंग द ग्रेड पॉइंट एंड द ग्रेड फॉर इंटरनल्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट एंड वेन यू आर वर्किंग फॉर योर सब्जेक्ट दिस इज हाउ यू विल हैव टू देन गो इन फॉर Doing the grading using this grade table, which is pre-specified, pre uh, you don't have to fumble with the, the grading as we were doing in the previous uh, uh, lecture. So in this, uh, you have to go in for using the ma uh, marking and the grading scheme which has been given. So you will not deviate from it, right? And this is uh, absolute grading. So you will not go in for. uh making your own judgment in uh, changing the grades whatever marking scheme and grades and grade points have been given you are going to use that only so now the student goes in for appearing in the university exam out of 60 so 40 is internal 60 is external for this subject of economics and these are uh, his or her scores which uh, the university has given so now how university is going to make the calculation first of all they are going to convert it into percentage by using the simple formula 40 by 60 into 100 so that makes it 66.67 and this 66.67 falls in this uh, interval between 60 to 70 so grade point is 8 and the grade is a so that is how 8 and a have been written here now let's see we have marks of internals and we have marks of externals So total out of hundred, the student is scoring twenty five plus forty. So twenty five plus forty gives us sixty five. Right now sixty five falls in which interval? Sixty five falls in this interval between sixty two to seventy. So his grade point remains eight, and his final grade also comes out to be A from this particular table. Right. So. Uh, for the subject of economics the university once they have got the internal assessment marks and they have also gone for, gone in for having the external assessment marks will put all the marks together out of 100 they are going to find out the percentage this percentage will fall in one of the intervals here in this table from there the grade point will be picked up so these grade points will be uh, written here and accordingly the grades associated with that grade point will be put in the last column so this was uh, regarding the subject and this table is being used uh, in these two columns as well as here also right so uh, this is how this particular table has been used 
now we move on to the grade sheet with the university issues and i'm talking of the example of my own university so uh, i'm familiar with the type of system which they are uh, following and that is what i am trying to explain you uh, now see here the grade sheet shows the subject so i have taken the uh, combination of subjects like economics accounting quantitative techniques or narration behavior computer for managers business environment which are the subjects which are usually taught in the first semester of mba now what university has done is that we go in for sending them the marks out of 40 and see here out of 40 when we are sending the marks they will be converted into grade points and accordingly the grades will be associated in the software okay so the mark sheet or the grade sheet is revealing only the grades it is not revealing the marks that we have sent that we get in the gadget which the university sends us right so if the student wants to see how many marks are there for that we have a separate document of all the students uh, enrolled in that particular course we bind it and we keep it in our office and uh, the mark sheet only reveals i a u e their grades are there and the credit of the subjects are there and the final grade points that they have achieved right so their grade points their uh, gpa is mentioned and then their sgpa is mentioned because th th these are the things only which are mentioned and pass fail is written at the bottom of the award list now how these a's are uh, how these grades are being obtained in ia and ue is very clear from this example which i have discussed here i have clearly shown ia and the grades ue and the grades associated with, with it so these grades which are coming under ia and ue uh, have been already shown to you of how they have been calculated now these credits are mentioned in the curriculum that also i have shared i have sent the soft copy of the whole of the curriculum of our university to the coordinator and i have requested them to share it with you so that can be done right so credits are uh, from the curriculum and these grade points uh, uh, are calculated in this particular manner so see again this a the student has obtained by having this type of score so 25 out of 40 was obtained by the student so that makes it 62.5 and this 25 uh, this uh, 62.5 percentage falls in this category so the grade was a okay so the grade was a similarly in university exam if the grade is a uh, he has gone in for scoring 40 and this 40 makes it 66.67 Uh, which is again say 67 percent falls in this category between 60 to 70. So again it is A, right? And uh, together uh, the sum total comes out to be 65. So 65 falls in the category of 60 to 70. So the grade is A. So uh, now for grade A the grade point is eight, right? So that is how the university goes in for writing this grade point eight. Uh, towards the end now they have not gone in for giving the final grade they have given the component grade for internal for university and they have said that you have gone in for scoring the grade point of 8 which means you have gone in for scoring a grade in the uh, sum total of internal assessment and university examination so that that's how the mark sheet uh, is given we show them the grades of internal assessment we give them the grades of university exam we tell them what is the credit weightage of each subject and what is the final grade point which you have achieved now uh, i have gone in for adding this column of credits into grade point for the reason that this will now be used for uh, calculation of sgpa so your grade point average is the same as calculating the average of uh, the grade point so we go in for adding it we get 55 55 divided by the number of subjects right so you can see this this 55 is cell number g41 and g46 cell is g46 uh, cell is the number of subjects so this particular value which you are getting is just see g48 by 6 right so 6 is the number of subjects just see in the formula bar i am uh, having my cursor at the top at present right 
so g48 is your uh, total of uh, total of uh, the grade point that, that means this column this is 55 and 55 by 6 has been uh, given this particular formula of uh, the result of 9.16 right now we have truncated it to two decimal places so it is 9.17 this is gpa rounded so we have gone in for giving you the grade point i have given the formula here total of grade points divided by the number of subjects so total of grade points divided by total of grade points divided by the number of subjects this is these are grade points okay SGPA will be calculated by taking the product of credits uh, into grade point divided by the total number of uh, credits. So, this total of credits uh, into grade point is 201, right? Divided by the total number of credits. Total number of credits you see is 22. So, you are able to see here. Uh, this 201 is H41 cell. Just see this. This total we have obtained from by adding these uh, products, right? So this is 201. 201 is divided by the total number of credits, which is 22. So 201 by 22 uh, gives us this particular answer. So 201 is at Right. So, th th this is how it has been obtained. You can go in for verifying it uh, with the help of a calculator. Right. So, this has been converted, uh, has been rounded it off to 9.14. And for 9.14, uh, again, you will see 9.14. We need to see that particular table. It is here. Yes. So, 9.14 falls here right between 9 to 9.49 and the grade is a plus so this grade becomes a plus now for the first semester just mind it your sgpa and cgpa both will be same in the first semester because we have not gone in for adding any more uh, subjects in the second semester this will start changing so because with the first semester second semester subjects will also come and together they will form the cgpa as we did it in the last uh, um, part in part 3 okay so I've written the formula here sum of the product of credits and GP divided by sum of the credits this remains same as SGPA for the first semester so CGPA remains same as first uh, as uh, uh, that of SGPA for the first semester from second semester it will start changing okay so this is how uh, this particular uh, grading scheme works now after this I will show you a small clipping of how uh, grading is done on the percentage of the number of students which you want to remain under bell shaped curve. So watch this also. This is also uh, another mechanism but this is uh, not very frequently used. But uh, in order to explain the concept of grading, uh, understanding that the intelligence of the students is normally distributed and their marks are also normally distributed and they are following normal distribution, then this type of percentage mechanism can be used. Otherwise, in practice we go in for using the first and the second example discussed in part 3 and part 4. Right? So this is uh, very uh, less frequently used but you must know about this uh, phenomena also. Sorry, so this should get started now. Uh, this particular movie doesn't have sound, so it will run silently. You only have to read it. First of all, he is trying to show how the students have scored marks. So he is only plotting the marks. This is the mean, which is at the center. 
and he says that most of the students will remain near the mean now this is what we talked of that when we talk of plus minus one standard deviation almost 68 percent of the population gets covered this is what he is trying to explain so one on the right and minus one standard deviation on the left so it covers 68 percent area 0.5 covers 38 percent of the area so he's only following A, B, C, D, F. He's not going in for break, breaking those uh, grades further as we did it. So he's saying that you can follow these two types of gradings. Now you decide whether you would like to follow this percentage for the class. C is 38%, D is 24%, B is 24%, A is 7% and F is 7%. So if you want to follow this percentage uh, for the class, is now going to tell you how many students should fall under that percentage and he, he is uh, talking of grading of 16 students for the time being. So out of 16 students, 7% of 16 makes it 1, 24% of 16 makes it 4, 38% makes it 6, 24% again 4 and 7% of 6 makes it 1. So this is what he is trying to explain. And you get their scores. So the, this is the marking which has been given to these students. You sort them from highest to lowest. Now you have decided that A will be given to one student, B will be given to four students, C will be given to six students. So now start allocating in that manner. The so next four, six will be given six. Next four will be given D and last will be given as F. Right, and that's how the grading has been given. Now we'll discuss one more example of 25 students. Now it is not necessary that you always have to fail if you are following the normal distribution. So there the judgment will come. Okay, so that's his book which he has marketed here. Now he is talking of example of 25 students and he is taking another grading that B will become 24%, C 38%, D 24% and F is 7%. So he has only changed the number from 16 to 25. Let us see this. Right, so 79.79, uh, one was getting B, the other was getting C, so he has gone for rectifying it. Now here we require judgment. So that's it. Uh, I hope uh, you liked both the examples. Uh, it was a wonderful experience creating these sessions for you and the creation will only be fruitful if I have been able to put forward uh, some knowledge from my side to your side using this recording mechanism for the first time. So all the best and keep in touch. My Email ID is drvikasnath at gmail.com that is d-r-v-i-k-a-s-n-a-t-h at gmail.com without any dot, without any space, without any underscore. Thank you very much. Keep in touch. All the best.